Meanwhile, Doug Cameron is in shorts and flip-flops, folks. It's his final backyard weather, and the fun is just kicking up. Wendy and I are heading out your way, Douglas. Oh, I'll tell you, it's so hard to think that this is the last backyard weather, but I got to tell you, if it's going to be the last one, why not blow it, blow it out with a bang? Because the weather today, absolutely phenomenal. We're in the Brightwood section of the D.C. metro area. This is John Doyle, and we're obviously cooking up some food right here. And, John, this is not the, the average type of food. This is for something special. Yeah, so, so Miriam's Kitchen is a great organization that I've been involved with for about 15 years now. I served on the board of directors for six, and the quality of service that they provide to their guests is just amazing. They, they, they really treat the whole person from their nutritional needs and Ellen is going to talk to you about that and what, what kind of people do they help so, so they service the, the homeless community okay. so 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 they, they have a, a breakfast program and a dinner program as well as a social services program again that treats the whole person so and, that's and we're talking so about special. some fantastic yeah. food with Miriam's kitchen this is Emily Hagel and Emily just real fast what what are the four things we're having today because this is what you serve normally absolutely so uh, several of our dishes this evening are being served back at Miriam's mm -hmm. and some of our volunteers are helping run our service while we are here this evening with you so we are featuring some of summer's bounty, but instead of a normal barbecue that we're all sick of burgers and hot dogs, yeah, so we thought yeah. we'd bring a bit of an Asian twist to it. So we have uh, Asian barbecue wings. We have eggplant fritters made with local seasonal eggplant. We have a pork belly slider. Which, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. We have a chicken wing. Uh, we have and also and some I'll tell you, and it, corn. And the guys, there they are waiting in line for this. This is some good food. I want to talk about the forecast for a little bit. 86 degrees, that's the current number. But take a look at as we go through the rest of the evening hours, a perfect night to get out and about tonight. We're going to be seeing temperatures that are going to be in the 80s all throughout, not only today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, 84, 87 on Saturday. But then that's when we hit our weekend, and that's when we hit our heat wave. 94 degrees on Sunday. We're talking 91 degrees on Monday. And as we head into early next week, we're even going to stay in the 90s most likely during the day on Tuesday. There will be a chance of showers, maybe a storm Saturday and Sunday, but I'm not worried too much about that. Better chance of storms late Sunday into the day on Monday, too. So don't think it's going to be a wash. If you have your food set out like this on Labor Day, don't worry. Most of the area will stay dry. If not, get yourself a really big tent. We'll talk much more about that, though, over the next couple of days. Right now, you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Can I go first? Sure you can. Yeah. I got the microphone. I get to go first. Back to you guys. Large and in charge. Thank you, Doug. We'll see you shortly.